Hi everyone, I'm really excited today uh, to be with Claire Gelder from Wolkachaw and Sarah Jane from uh, Bella Coco Crochet. <laughs> so today we've been working hard in the studio, we've been working on a Christmas pattern book for you guys that's coming out at the end of August um, and all we're going to do today is just have a little chat about what we've done and you guys are giving us some questions as well so I'm just going to ask Sarah Jane and Claire um, and then we'll just take it from there. So just to start off really, so uh, Sarah Jane, Sam Osmond, Sam Osmond of Twitter asks, what are your crochet kit essentials? Oh, um, obviously other than the obvious, mm -hmm. crochet hook mm -hmm. and yarn, I would say stitch markers because okay. I always lose my place with things and mm -hmm. I just think they're really good for just popping in if yeah. you need to stop start and there's a lot of stop starting for me these days so yeah, yeah little stitch markers pop them in definitely do you have essential. a favorite kind of stitch marker you like to use um, i've had some for ages mm -hmm. for a couple of years which are just really pretty um and they are sort of proper stitch markers mm -hmm. rather than i know that sometimes you can use paper clips and yeah. things <laughs> like that but they're just like the little lever ones yeah. and i find them really handy that's good. and pretty too yeah which that's is important <laughs> i think claire stacy on twitter asks what was it like meeting the dragons um okay so <laughs> you turn up on the day at five o'clock in the morning and you have to get your pitch ready and you have to go through I don't know how many rehearsals um, and then in the afternoon I eventually stood in front of the five dragons and um, I was stood there for two hours asking answering question after question oh. and it was intense it was um, I think what helped me was that I knew that it wasn't a live, um, mm -hmm. it wasn't a live recording, so I knew that I could speak slow and I could take time to answer my questions. But it was the most nerve-wracking thing, okay. other than giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> Does, was it what what time of the year were you there? Was it as hot as this? Is it was it a cooler day? I think in any studio, I've been in quite a few studios mm -hmm. now, and in any studio, it is really um, really hot, mm -hmm. and also whenever you come in front of a camera you've got your adrenaline going anyway mm -hmm. so um yeah it was um it was challenging yeah. but really really good fun and yeah. I, I look and back at it with yeah. with love and a lot of success has come from that too hasn't absolutely. it absolutely yeah. so i will uh, claire i have another question for you about the dragons while we're talking about them yeah judith on twitter asks how often do you meet with the dragons and what do you talk about so one of my big worries when I first signed the contract was that I wouldn't really get to see them, they'd mm -hmm, be silent mm -hmm. investors and it is completely the opposite. So um, both Tej and Tuka have business teams that support me. They're literally um, at the end of the phone at any point uh -huh. that I want them, any yeah. day that I want them. Um, they like to see me on a monthly basis and that's not just sitting down with the teams, that's um, sitting down with the two investors as well. So we also always meet at Tuka Towers oh, okay. um, in London and um, I generally meet both the investors there and they're both um, full on driving them. I feel sometimes like I'm running to keep up with because they're like, let's do this and mm. let's do that. And I'm like, I've got so many ideas. It's um, it's really good. So um, the big thing at the moment is Tuka wanted um, a baby range. Ah. So hence, um, we've been developing that for the last few months. Yes, and we're going to see some of those baby items in this pattern collection aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely! Yes. So back to Sarah Jane, what is your all-time favourite pattern and go-to yarn? And that's a question from Jocelyn on Twitter. Okay so I might be a bit biased with this one mm -hmm. because it's one that I designed. I think that's fine. <laughs> and I think it's because um, I started um, designing it well before I was pregnant mm -hmm. um, and then I kind of just left it and then when I was pregnant I found this pattern that I'd been working on and finished it and completed it um, and it was all pinks and just really nice girly colours yeah. and obviously Ella turned out to be a girl mm -hmm. so it was just kind of perfect for her. Yeah. So that kind of holds a bit of a special place in my heart because whenever I look at it it just gives me nice happy awesome. memories so yeah. I'd have to say my bobble stripe pattern is okay. my favorite pattern um, in terms of yarn um, I've 
been really playing around with different ones just mm -hmm. lately. Um, I love style craft and I've have always loved style craft, special decay. I love um, paint box um, yarns mm -hmm. as well. I just think they've got a really good range of colours mm -hmm. um, and I use them in a lot of my tutorials mm -hmm. too. Um, but then, like, well, I was just going to say, we've been playing with these gi this giant, super oh. chunky merino wool today, so I maybe mean, that could be starting how, to be... I know, there. how amazing is that? And the thing that I love most about um, thicker wools mm -hmm. at the moment is because it doesn't take as long. Mm -mm, mm, <laughs> no. Time is limited these days, so yeah, this definitely absolutely. goes towards my favourite um, thicker yarns. Excellent. Oh, very good. Uh, I'll go back to Claire. So, which are, so sticking to yarns, you can see I've oh, planned yeah. this. Uh, Amy on Facebook asks, which of your yarns, so your Walker Chore yarns, are your favourite to work with? I think it has to be our super chunky yarn. Mm. So, um, I love the real giant things, but um, for example, this one probably took me an evening to make, mm -hmm. which is great, but then sometimes. Whilst I am somebody that wants in instant gratification, mm -hmm. I also like something that I can keep going and work yeah. on and super chunky. So this probably, this blanket here probably took me, I don't know, maybe seven evenings to, okay. to make. Um, and I liked it because I could design little acorns and little leaves yeah. and try out different um stitches but yeah it was still achievable yeah so i wasn't waiting three months because i, I would just get bored mm. so for me i think super chunky oh yeah and a blanket <laughs> in seven days is amazing yeah. that's what i want to do next <laughs> uh, so back to sarah so jane mm. what is your favorite thing to crochet in front of the tv and this is a question from neve on facebook mm. i don't know the answer to that oh. i do like to keep it um quite varied mm -hmm. in what I'm doing but obviously something nice and easy so that, that you don't have to keep counting yeah um it's the worst thing when you're counting and my husband starts talking to me and mm. I just start counting louder <laughs> like, <is it> <laughs> oh like, we all know that yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so something that I could just mindlessly sort of yeah. do without really putting much thought into it I yeah. think granny squares are excellent oh, yeah. for that because they've just got a nice flow yeah. to them haven't they yeah but keeps it interesting at the same time yeah. do you have a favorite tv project um, I need repetition, right. so um, any pattern that I'm doing that just requires me to do the same thing over and over, because mm -hmm. I have two spaniel dogs, I've got a 21 year old son mm -hmm. who's often at home with his girlfriend, mm -hmm. and there's just life happening mm -hmm. around you, so repetition I yeah. find, re and, and a pattern that I can easily look at and think, right, that is the next mm -hmm. stitch, yeah. without having to go back and think, oh goodness, yeah. what have yeah. I done? From counting. the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you so lose probably, count, you have to start again. Yeah, oh. six, six to eight things are the maximum, mm -hmm. you know, six mm -hmm. to eight movements that yeah. you hook are the maximum that I'd want to be able to count back, yeah. because otherwise yeah. I end up making So mistakes. something, yeah. a project like this would be an ideal Ooh, evening absolutely. one, because it's repeated, but just absolutely. It's, the colour changes are just so dynamic there. So, if I can ask Sarah Jane another question, Denise on Facebook asks, how long does it take you to record and edit a video? Well, that depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could take as little as 15 minutes to record one oh, or wow. as long as two or three hours. Wow. It depends what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, and then editing wise, again, anywhere from half an hour to a good few hours mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. to edit. To get exactly um, what you want. Because I do like different like the left-handed and the right-handed as well. Oh, wow. um, so yeah. yeah, every video now I do two of. Excellent. <laughs> so it's just a matter of, uh, of getting them done. So yeah, a, one tutorial can take anywhere between an hour mm -hmm. altogether and maybe five or six hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a long time. Wow. Yeah. But worth it. Oh the, yeah, yeah, definitely and worth the end it. results are gorgeous. Yeah, so. definitely worth Excellent. it. Excellent. So can I ask, Mm. Have you any exciting news you can share with us? And that's a question from Louise on Facebook. Mm. So anything? So you mentioned your new baby yarn, new baby projects. Is mm. that right? Yes. So yeah. we've got a whole baby range coming out, mm -hmm. um, which will be out by the time we've, we've mm -hmm. um, yeah. launched this. And then we've also got a new yarn, which is called a fat yarn, and mm -hmm. it's basically. 
um, twice as thick as our super mm -hmm. chunky, so it's um, about 70 metres per 200 grams. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful merino, lovely soft, hand wash, um, lots of different colours to choose from. But I just wanted a sort of a, a thicker, mm -hmm. um, a thicker knit, you know, one, one 200, 200 gram skein will make you a little cowl or it'll make you a hat. So oh, um, I'm quite excited excited about launching that because yeah. um, this super chunky is great but mm -hmm. I just wanted something a bit chunky. And mm -hmm. you're saying that's ideal for one skein, one skein yeah. project, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and will that be on your website? That will be on our website. Yeah. It's literally been twizzled in the I don't know what to call it when they twizzle it in the mill, but it's been twizzled I think at the moment. twizzling is fine. <laughs> like this, twizzling is fine. Yeah. And we're moving into our, uh, I guess the other big news is mm -hmm. that we've, um, we had the option of um, we need a new premises. Mm -hmm. We've outgrown where we are. It's 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 got to the point where it's a bit risky where we are because oh, wow. we've got so much in there. Yeah. So. Um, we had the option, do we take a warehouse, which really didn't inspire mm. me, or do we take something different? And um, one of our team members was driving home one day and saw this old rundown pub in the middle of nowhere, yeah. uh, which had like, you know, the 1970s dance floors and yeah. things in. So <laughs> um, it's in this old Victorian building. Mm -hmm. We've taken it and within five weeks, we've gone from it being looking like a tap room mm -hmm. um, through to us having our um, online store, mm -hmm. um, a shop, we're going to have our first oh, flagship store where yeah. customers can come into and then because we also manufacture knitting yeah. needles and weaving looms, we've got all of our workshop That's in there fun. as well. So Because you do a lot of the designs yourself, don't you, for... A lot of it. A lot I mean, of we're them. working a lot more with other designers because yeah. that... It, Running a small to medium sized business, you 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 know, one day I'm cleaning or packing oh for John goodness, Lewis, yeah. and next day I'm designing. So I do work with designers a yeah. lot more now, um, just so we can bring more That's varied good. patterns. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it's important to have that creative space, not just a warehouse feel, though. Isn't Absolutely, it for that? Yeah. I couldn't have, I couldn't no. have bear the thought of no. that. So I'm hoping that everybody we've painted it pink, which is our colour. Excellent. <laughs> It's, uh, we're going to have our own photograph studio and mm -hmm. it's going to put everything under one roof so I'm nice. really looking forward to it. Oh that would be it great. amazing. It sounds, I'm definitely going to visit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well we'll just have to come and visit won't we? Well yeah. we'll have a grand. Um, uh, so in the same vein, do you have any exciting news, any new plans for the blog, the store? Yeah I'm just redesigning a new website at okay. the moment so that's sort of in the works mm -hmm. and trying to do that as much as I can. I do pretty much everything that I do by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't have a team of people really, yeah. so it just takes time, but yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. I just Excellent. want everything to be in one place, so it's just a, mm -hmm. like a hub that for sense. everything that I do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really exciting for me. Excellent.